नमस्कार हम डॉक्टर अपमाराम पवार सो टुडे यू सी द अनदर टॉपिक फ्रॉम द ओटीसी दैट इज एक्सपेक्टोरेंट्स सो व्हाट इज द एम ऑफ ऑल दिस वीडियोस वन शुड नॉट प्रमोट द सेल्फ मेडिकेशन सो इन द केस ऑफ ओटीसी द मास्टर और रिस्पांसिबल पर्सन इज द फार्मासिस्ट करेक्ट इंस्टेड ऑफ द पेशेंट डिमांड्स दैट पर्टिकुलर मेडिकामेंट he should tell his problem to the pharmacist means he should have select that medical store where their real pharmacist is working where there is a knowledgeable pharmacist is working where there is a highly qualified pharmacist is working where there is the experienced pharmacist is working because each and every drug have some side effects definitely the drug is taken at the right dose right time for the right decision and the right disease then it is a good thing but if it is wrongly taken then it is a not less than the poison so we'll see the another criteria expectorants so expectorants are the preparations which are used in the cuff so if these preparations contains number of drugs so as we seen in the last uh, some videos that these otc drugs have a wider safety window and it should not include drugs which have some toxicity or which otherwise categorized as schedule h but in the case of expectorant preparations formulations actually facts are different so pay attention what i am telling the first these drugs have a different mechanism expectorant have a different mechanism expel the mucus means what is the mucus is there they liquefy and they expel they remove so such drugs are there so thinning of cup takes place and it includes drug like ammonium chloride some volatile oils are there or potassium iodide menthol like substances are used as a expectorant for expulsion of that cuff or the mucus liquefy the sputum or mucolytic so degrade the bonds between that mucus and they thin the mucus and they expel that mucus or cuff these are the bromhexin or the guaifenesin like drugs are there then the demulsion means they give the soothing effect on the throat so this includes licorice honey regular honey regular syrup glycerin protein glycol so they form a protective coat soothing coat on the, the throat area so all these drugs are comparatively safe so they are really otc drugs but this expectorant contain some other drug types such as decongestants which are dilomethyl that drops are there for decongestion when our nose get blocked then we take such a drops anti allergic that is chlorpheniramine malate then the phenylalanine malate cetirizine like anti allergic drugs are there then the b2 receptor agonist like a salbutamol is there some drugs directly act on our brain or cns system central nervous system there is the codeine nescorpin dexamethorphan so all these red color drugs are actually h category drugs they are formulated as a expectorant and as schedule g uh, that schedule k mentions that expectorants of the cup formulas comes under the uh, otc formulations they are marketed means what expectorants or cup preparations we are taking this contains the safe drugs as well as some non safe drugs and one by one we will see that the first is the cup suppressants like a codeine which acts on the cns system if we take it for a common cough without consultation then it may cause the respiratory depression it may cause the constipation and usually it causes the drowsiness or sleepiness uh, sleep uh, sleep antihistamines like a cetirizine chlorpheniramine malate they cause the drowsiness phenylpropylamine can aggravate condition like a diabetes glaucoma prostate enlargement so these are the conditions because these drugs act on a body to greater extent 
and they modify that condition or other body functions or the system. So such antihistaminics are the causes of the sleeping problems, dehydration, loss of consciousness and if you take with the alcohol or antidepressant, these are more harmful. When those who are taking alcohol or other some medicaments, they should take this antihistaminics with care. Diphenhydramine causes gastric degradation of levodopa. Means if anybody is taking a levodopa for a cardiac problem, then there is a problem with these drugs. It increases the gastric residence. The gastric residence means emptying of that gastric uh, part is get slowed down. It is not recommended below the age of 12 years. Then the decongestion. So if our nose is get blocked, we usually purchase that nasal spray. So how it act? These are the vasoconstrictions. Means they tighten our blood vessels. And resulting in decreased blood flow and decreased nasal congestion. So means if we take these vasoconstrictors for longer period of time, then it may lead to the severe side effect. Therefore, these are used up to one week only. So, use is not recommended for more than seven days and also below the age of patient, six years of age. Another point, the vasoconstrictors should not be withdrawn or the dosing should not be stopped abruptly, but tailing should be there. Means per day, if you are taking this medicament three times a day, after 3-4 days, you have to take up 2 times a day, then single times a day and then you stop complete dosing of this. If we stop taking of such medicaments at once, we are consuming 3 tablets and we stop to consume 3 tablets or we are keeping a drop 3 times a day and we stop putting a drop. In such cases, there is chance of rebound vasoconstrictions means our system will be more congested than the previous condition and it is more dangerous. So, these are the OTC drugs. These are the safe drugs. If we take this drug with caution and it is required with the science. Unfortunately, many FDCs which are available in the Indian market contain so many types of drugs like antihistamine, decongestion, bronchodilators, curb suppression, expectorants, antifungal drugs, antibiotics, steroids, antibiotics and even local anesthetics. So for common cough, is it necessary to use such combinations? So simple steam and gargling is more effective. Waiting for one or two days is more effective than taking such complicated OTC medicaments. So be sure that your OTC medicaments only contains drugs which are safe and which should be devoid of such a complicated or toxic medicaments. So this is my another chapter expectorant on the OTC. Thank you for listening. So next time we will see the another chapter either from OTC or how the self medication is more dangerous. Thank you.